Module 7.2, Applications of Critical Values. Objective, use the concept of critical values to solve real world problems. Example one, the monthly average of unemployment claims in County A is given by this function, where T is the number of years after 1980. When did the number of claims decrease? Find the extreme point and interpret the extreme point in the context of this problem. Okay, first let's go through and let's find the extreme point. So we're going to go through and we're going to first find n prime of t, which is going to be equal to the derivative of n of t, which is 50t minus 440. And now to find the extreme points, we're going to set this equal to zero. So we're going to add 440 to both sides. That'll give us 50t is equal to 440. And we're going to divide by 50 on both sides. And so t would be equal to 8.8. .8. Next, we're going to set up our number line. And we know that we're looking at the years after zero, which starts in 1980. And we're going to set up 8.8. .8 which will give us two regions, region one and region two. We're going to set up our test points. So in area number one, let's plug in a number in between zero and 8.8. .8. One would be a very good number here. And we're gonna plug it into the derivative, which was 50t minus 440. So it'd be 50 times one minus 440. And that would give us 50 minus 440, which will give us a negative answer. So we have a negative derivative in area number one. Now for area number two, let's plug in, say, nine would be a good representative of region two. So that would be 50 times nine minus 440. So that would be 450 minus 440, which would give us 10. So notice that this answer is going to be a positive. And so in region two, we have a positive derivative. So now we can answer this question because we know that between 0 and 8.8 .8 years that it this function decreased. And so it asks when did the number of claims decrease? We can say between it decreased between 1980 and 8.8 .8 years, which we put it in 1989. And then from 1989 on, it increased. So that's the first point. And it says find the extreme point and interpret the extreme point in the context, context of the problem. Well, the extreme point is 8.8. .8, and that would be because we have a negative and then a positive, that would be a minimum in 1989. And that would be a minimum number of claims. After this point, the claims begin to increase. So they had a minimum number of claims in 1989. In our second example, Luis hits a baseball into the air. It's hiding feet above the ground after t seconds is given by this polynomial. How long was the ball rising? What is the maximum height of the ball? And when did the maximum height occur? And when did the hit ball hit the ground? In order to find the maximum height of the ball and how long the ball is rising, we need to first find the derivative of s. So s prime of t is equal to negative 32t plus 112. Now we know that we can find a critical value only when this derivative is either equal to zero or discontinuous. And we see no breaks because it is just a polynomial. So let's set this equal to zero. So we take the derivative and we set it equal to zero. We're going to subtract 112 from both sides. So that would give us negative 32t is equal to negative 112. We're going to divide by negative 32 on both sides. And so t would be equal to 3.5. Again, we set a number line up. We know that we're looking for anything after zero because we know that's when Luis hits the ball. Our possible critical values are 3.5, which will give us two regions. We have region one and we have region two. 
And now we're going to plug points. First, let's find a value that we're going to plug in for, for region 1. So let's look at region 1, and we're going to plug in negative 32 times 1 plus 112, sticking the derivative. And notice that this will give us a positive value. So region 1 is going to be represented by a positive derivative. Region 2, we're going to plug in a number, say, like 4, which would be negative 32 times 4 plus 112. And notice this is going to give me negative 128 plus 112, which is going to give us a negative value. So we'll have a negative value in this area. So now we can say that the ball rose from t equals 0 to t equals 3.5. Okay, and in order to find us, in order for us to find the maximum height, we need to plug t equal 3.5 into our original function. So in order to find the height of the ball, we need to plug t equals 3.5 into our function, which is negative 16 times 3.5 quantity squared plus 112 times 3.5 plus 84. So we know that we have a maximum at 3.5 seconds. So we plug 3.5 in for t, and that should give us s is equal to 280 feet. So Louis Ball reached a maximum height of 280 feet at 3.5 seconds. Okay, so the last thing that we need to find is Let's go through and let's find when the ball hit the ground. Well, that would mean that the height of the ball, or s, would be equal to 0. So we have 0 is equal to negative 16t squared plus 112t plus 84. And here we can use the quadratic formula, which was minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We're going to plug our numbers in, so that would be minus 112 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 112 quantity squared, minus 4 times a, which is negative 16, times c, which is 84, all over 2 times a, which is negative 16. After doing some calculator work, we could end up with negative 0.7 for our, for a minus value, and we're going to end up with 7.7 .7 for our plus value. Okay. Now, obviously, we're not concerned with negative 0.7 because we do not want to know what occurred with the ball before Louise had the ball. However, 7.7 .7 is a positive answer, which is within the the domain of the problem, and that would be when the ball hit the ground. So the ball would hit the ground at 7.7 .7 seconds.